Great tips that can help you fix your credit by howtogrowcredit.com. Is your credit score giving you nightmares and interrupting your sound sleep? The following advice provided here will help you repair your credit and ease your mind. While you watch this video, please consider subscribing. If you like this content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below with any comments and questions we would love to hear from you. Also, if you have a YouTube channel, let us know that you followed us and we'll follow you back. Let's grow together. When the video ends, make sure to check out our list of credit building links below. Get started rebuilding your credit with the Secure Discover It card and get $50 with our link. Teach the next generation how to manage money with Greenlight Smart Debit Card for Kids. Get $10 off with our link below. And get two free stocks with Weeble with your first $100 deposit. Links in the description. Then take a look at the rest of the content on this channel and our website howtogrowcredit.com, both with new content added daily. If you are unable to get an unsecured credit card due to your low credit rating, consider a secured card to help re-establish your rating. With a secured card, you have to fund your account before you use the card so that the bank will be assured that you will pay off your debts. If you use a credit card responsibly, you will go a long way in repairing your credit. The first thing you should do when trying to improve your credit score improvement is to build a commitment to adhere to it. You must commit to making changes to your spending habits only buy the things that are needed. You can keep your interest rates lower by working to keep your credit score as high as possible. Monthly payments are more manageable this way, and you can pay off your unpaid debt. Try to get the best offer and credit rates so you can increase your credit score. If your credit does not allow you to obtain a new loan, get a secured card. If you use a credit card responsibly, it will help improve your credit standing. Never hire a credit counseling company without doing some research to ensure they are a reputable organization. Some counselors truly want to help you, while others are untrustworthy and have other motives. You'll find that other ones are just scams. Intelligent customers will make sure to determine the legitimacy of a credit counseling agency before acquiring their services. If your credit card is carrying more than half of its credit limit, then pay them down until they are below 50% utilization. Before you commit to a settlement, you should first determine exactly how the agreement will affect your credit. There are ways to go about this that will have less of an impact and should be learned about before you make any kind of deal with a creditor. They are just out to get their money and do not care how that affects your credit score. You need to pay your bills on time and in full. Your credit rating will begin to increase immediately after you settle up your overdue bills. Try joining a credit union to begin a credit score. You may find that the credit union has more options and better rates to offer you than banks will. Make sure you check out any credit counseling agency you do business with them. Many companies are legitimate and hold your best interests as a priority, so make sure you are not being duped. Some companies you may find are just people trying to scam you. Stop living beyond your means. This is nothing short of a lifestyle overhaul. Unfortunately, Easy Credit has lured many people into buying luxuries that they don't need and cannot afford, which will always catch up with them. Be honest with yourself about what you can genuinely afford. Do not do things that may lead you to go to jail. The web is full of scams that show you how you can craft a deceptive credit file and making the old one magically disappear. Do things like this because it's illegal, you into big trouble with the law. You could end up owing a great deal of money or even facing jail if you are not careful. To start repairing your credit, you should close all but one of your credit card accounts. You will want to either transfer your balances onto the one remaining card or set up payment arrangements, but close the account to new charges. This allows you to pay off one credit card bill rather than many smaller ones. Joining a credit union may be a way to boost your credit if you are having a hard time doing so elsewhere. Go over your monthly credit card statements to check for mistakes. Whenever you see any, it will be necessary to discuss the situation with your creditor so that they do not submit negative information to the credit agencies. Dispute any errors that you find on your credit report. Many times you and your creditor can work together to come up with a prepayment plan. If so, be sure you get a written agreement stating the terms. 
This is a great way to have documentation of the program if the creditor changes their mind or the company ownership gets changed. Every time you get a debt paid off, ask the company to notify the credit bureaus. Pay off any balances on all credit cards as soon as you can. Pay off accounts with the highest interest and most significant balances first. This will show future creditors that you are trying to pay your bills and be responsible. One of your main tasks in credit repair is paying off your cards as fast as you can. First, work on the cards with the steepest balances or interest rates. This will show creditors that you are responsible for the cards. Try not to use credit cards only for purchases you can afford to pay off. Use cash to pay for purchases instead while you are building back your credit. If you have a situation where you have to put a charge on your credit card, always pay the balance in full each month. Lower the debt on revolving credit accounts, like store and credit cards, first. Lowering your balances is one way to get a better credit score. When balances reach anywhere from 20 to 100% of your available credit balances, in 20% intervals the FICO system will make a note. You may want to argue against the reports, but potential lenders will not consider your statements. It may even draw more attention to the blemish. Debt collection agencies are the most stressful part of having a bad credit crisis. Even when the phone calls from collection agencies have stopped, the individual is still responsible for paying the disputed debt. Debt collection agencies are the most challenging part of having bad credit. If a debt collection agency is harassing you, writing a cease and desist letter can stop the harassment. Sending the letter does not mean you no longer have to pay the bill, it only stops the collection agency from calling. A nasty credit situation would have many different debts you can't afford to pay off multiple debts. Even if all you're making is minimum payments, sending along at least a little money will mollify your creditors and prevent them from contacting collection agencies. If you have a lot of debt that you cannot pay, it can create a mess. Spread your money among your creditors so that they each get a part of what funds are available. Even if you can only meet the minimum payment, you will avoid having the bill sent to collections. Make a definite plan or program to pay off past due accounts and collection agencies. Opening additional lines of credit will negatively affect your credit score. Opening new lines of credit can hurt your score significantly, even if you get approved. As soon as you begin your new credit card, your credit score will drop. Be sure to document all information if a bill collector is illegal. You should be aware of the laws or that safeguard consumers' rights when dealing with debt collectors. Work out a plan of attack where you can pay off collectors and any other accounts that are past due. They will likely still appear on the credit bureau report, but having them marked as paid is a lot better than having them appear as outstanding balances. Talk to creditors to try using alternate payment plans directly if you cannot afford your monthly payments. Make any records of any threats that a collector makes because it is highly illegal of them to do that. You do not have to deal with it, many laws will protect you. Creditors look at your total debt versus your income. You will be seen as a higher credit risk if your debt is too much for your income to handle. It's not easy for most people to immediately pay the debt off, so you need to come up with a plan and not deviate from it. If you want to find an alternative way to pay, you should get a hold of them directly. If you make the first move and hash out a payment plan, sometimes, they won't even report it to credit agencies. This is also a good idea because it lets you shift your attention to your more inflexible debts, where you don't have the option of negotiating your payments down. Your credit score is strongly affected by how promptly you make timely bill payments. Setting up a payment reminder will help you remember to send in that payment. There are several different ways to remind yourself to pay your bills. Reduce your total debt. When you apply for a loan, they take into consideration the ratio of your debt and your income. If your debt levels are unusually high for your income, your credit score will suffer. Build yourself a plan that can help repay your debts and commit to sticking to it. Make sure that you keep records of everything when interacting with credit bureaus. Write down each person that you speak to, each letter that you send or receive, and save any pertinent emails. Make sure you mail your dispute letters through certified mail, so you have ample proof that it was mailed and received. The first step to repairing your credit is to figure out how you are going to pay the money off. Existing debt lowers an individual's credit rating and can be a burden. Your credit score will rise significantly if you do not have existing debt. Making monthly credit payments on time is one of the best ways to build your credit score. 
Even if you can only pay the minimum, just submit something. One missed payment can significantly affect your credit score. Learn more about credit consolidation if you consider it as an option for your credit. This way, all your debt under one bill, and it will be easier to pay. Make sure to research your consolidation plan you evaluate to determine if it is the best option. Go through your credit report and identify any outstanding items. Pay particular attention to correct any errors. Next, begin to improve upon your past mistakes. Your first step should be completely paying off the debt with the highest interest. Meanwhile, keep up with the other accounts, even if it's just the minimum payment. Look at your credit report to make sure that they are valid. There could be issues on your credit report that were made in the report. If you can prove that a given discrepancy is invalid, you should submit a credit dispute to the institution that gave you a bad mark on your report. Retain low credit card balances. If you have a $2,000 limit on a particular credit card and you keep your balance above $1,800, even if you are making your monthly payments on time, you are still hurting your credit score. You may run across credit repayment plans or send in lump sums that are simply impossible for you. Know precisely what your debt before attempting to deal with creditors to avoid promising more than you can comfortably pay. Have different types of credit if you want to fix your credit. A variety of different credit types determines your overall credit score. If you pay your mortgage, car loan, and credit card bills on time, it will help your credit score dramatically. For instance, you can hurt your score if you only keep your balance above $1,800 when your card has a $2,000 limit, even with prompt monthly payments. One way to improve your credit is to get new lines of credit and repay them right away. This shows that you can handle credit payments without late payments or defaults, which will raise your credit score. If you are looking to repair your credit, you should focus on cultivating multiple types of credit. Your overall credit score takes into account the various kinds of credit that you have. This process builds good credit history and demonstrates that you are taking responsibility for your bills. If your credit rating is not good, then ask your creditors to lower your spending limits. You want to avoid dropping your credit limit to the point that you run the risk of maxing out your current balance nearly maxes it out. With the advice given here, you can finally banish your credit report from your nightmares. You can rebuild your credit so that you can worry about it less. These tips can help you achieve a credit score that makes you proud. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the content on this channel and our website howtogrowcredit.com both with new content added daily. Also check out our list of credit building links below. If you like free, you can get one free stock from Webull by signing up with our affiliate link in the description. Then deposit $100 into your Webull account within 30 days to get a second free stock. If you are ready to start building your credit, we recommend the Secure Discover It card. Use our link in the description to get a $50 statement credit just by using your card in the first three months. Also, if you have kids, the Greenlight Smart Debit Card for Kids makes it easier to give your kids money and teach them how to make smart financial decisions. Check it out by signing up with our referral link and get $10. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Not only does it help us make new content for you, but it also tells YouTube to share this content with others. How to Grow Credit Steps to Grow Your Credit Score